And welcome back NASCAR Toyota All Star Showdown. We're getting close to the final 15 laps of racing here and an interesting development. The 44 of Derek Thorne has been put to the back of the field. For aggressive driving, NASCAR looked at it and just deemed that it uh, was unnecessarily aggressive. You see him on the inside there. He goes, he slides up the racetrack, makes contact with the leader, Paula Haraka. You see Greg Persley get by as well as the 75 of Jason Bowles, but NASCAR will revert back to the previous lap, and that will give the lead to Jason Bowles. That's him on the outside. Now Greg Persley on the inside. Back in the third spot, DJ Kennington and Luis Martinez now running fourth. What is the preferred line on the restart? We see Derek Thorne back there. He's actually behind Polly Haraka right now, and I, I'm sure Polly Haraka is not happy about being back there a few spots back coming out of turn number four green flag back in the air a great restart for Jason Bowles. something happened to Luis Martinez he bogged up the field look at Persley on the inside Persley battling for the lead down the back stretch Persley on the inside Bulls on the outside Persley all the way below the white line coming out of turn number four Persley's got the lead and Persley almost gets turned around by Jason Bowles. Jason Bowles gave him a break. He made contact with him, but he turned him loose. D How about DJ Kennington in that 17 car? DJ Kennington moves up into the third spot. Travis Pastrana battling in the, for a lead lap position. Something's wrong with Paul Haraka. He may have a flat tire. Haraka slow on the racetrack. Looks Staying up on the high side of the racetrack, Polly Haraka. Problems with the 12. We stay green, though, as they come out of turn four. Persley, Bulls, Kennington. 12 laps of racing to go. Haraka makes his way onto pit road. Gomez and Martinez rounding out their top five. And problems, a hard contact in turn one and two. Dale Quarterly involved. There's Cabrera in the 53 car. That looks like the 38. It is the 38, 38 of, of Troy Amish. A lot of damage to three race cars. Dale Quarterly in the 32 up against the wall. Ermish in the 38. You see the window net down. Cabrera in the 53. They've red flagged the field once again to clean up the racetrack, which I think is a good call. Yeah. We have a 25 lap shootout. Let's run as many of those laps under green as we can. Take a look what just happened. Looks like there's contact. Stephen Wallace and the 32 have gotten to look like they got together. Cabrera couldn't stop right along with Stephen Wallace. This is coming off turn four. Now the incident's going to happen down here in this end of the racetrack. Stephen and the 32 of Quarterly make contact. Quarterly backs up into the wall, and while he's doing that, you see the 53. Cabrera he ran into the wall yeah. yep. and then turned off the wall and ran underneath the back of Troy Ermish. There's Dale Quarterly walking over and jumping in the ambulance for the mandatory ride to the care center. He'll check him out. Looks like Troy Ermish out of his race car. Big hit there. So just 11 laps remaining from here in Irwindale. A great battle for the lead. Persley and Bulls battling for the top spot. Persley able to take the position away as they came out of turn four. Right up in front of Jason Bowles. Jason had the momentum, but Persley was there. Jason ran in the back of him, but then turned him loose. Travis Pastrana 
looking for a top 10 finish in his first ever start in NASCAR able to get by Polly Haraka when Haraka had problems. He has had more close calls I believe than anybody on the racetrack. Let's take a look from his onboard camera. See Polly's just not going to go when they get off turn four. What a nice job. It's hard to believe that this is this guy's first race ever in a car like this. Or anything like this for that matter. So Pastrana ninth. Derek Thorne actually scored in the tenth spot. Pursley Bulls. Kennington Gomez Martinez your top five. Moses Smith Johnny Borneman. Motley Pastrana and Thorne your top ten. Let's go down to Dick Bergeron with Jerry Pitts and he is Greg Persley's crew chief. What's he got to do to win this thing from here? We just got to, um, you know, keep the, keep our fenders clean here. We still got 12 laps to go and we got to keep the fenders on them. We um, we've been um, whole race. We've been a little bit tight, but we've been trying to uh, save our car. So we have something for the end here. Good enough to keep that 75 behind him. I believe so. All right. Good luck. You know, the big question now, what's the preferred line on a restart? Is it inside or outside? We've seen the, we've seen the inside work, uh, but we've also seen the outside work, too. But, uh, you know, the fact that I think the most important thing is that the leader, whether he's on the inside or the outside, he is the one that controls the restart. So if he can get just a little bit enough of a jump to clear the second place car, whether he starts from the inside or the outside, that's what's in, that's what's crucial. Pursley Bowles and Kennington. DJ Kennington, your Canadian Tire 2010 Series champion. Currently in the third position. Jonathan Again, Gomez being shown in fourth, and we've seen that car smoking for the last 150 laps, but yet he still maintains a top five position. A lot of work continuing in turns one and two to clean up this issue. Let's take another look at this ish, uh, situation right here, Rick. There's the 32 of quarterly. So he had a little bit of damage from a, an early incident. There's a little piece of something came off the car. Get some sparks when we get down in the corner. Remember, this is the other end of the racetrack. This is coming off a of turn four. Seem to get a little bit sideways now. Now, when he goes down to this corner, he's going to try to go to the inside to go around that lap car, and that's when he makes contact with Steven. He just really drove across the nose of Steven, right. and unfortunately, they made contact. Let's go back down to Dick Bergeron. And I'm with Jeff Fultz. He is Jason Bowles, crew chief. Your guy is going to be restarting in second spot. What's he going to do on this restart? Can he take the lead? Well, we hope so. I mean, we've had a great car all night. You know, we got to thank Triad Technolo Racing Technologies for the motors and stuff, and uh, uh, the Rusty Wallace and everybody who's helped us today. But, you know, Jason's done a great job. This car, uh, we had a little, little bit of short time racing up with practicing and stuff the other day. So, but. You know, we can't ask for more than what we got. He got the lead, and, you know, you're racing against Greg Persley and a bunch of these guys. So, you know, all we can do is just, you know, hope. And uh, he'll, he's uh, real good around here and always won a lot of races. So all we can do is just uh, hang in there. He's getting all fired up, and uh, he tried to get it that time, but Greg just was a little better on the bottom. But, you know, if we get a good restart, you never know what can happen. You also don't have your choice of lanes, but if you had a choice of lanes, which one would you take? Uh, we take the top. He took the top that time, but Greg was just so good on the bottom on the tire. So, you know, we can't, uh, you know, all we can do is, uh, you know, deal with, deal with. He's a little tight in the center. You know, we just got to thank uh, Rusty Wallace Racing Experience and, like I said, Triad Technologies and for everything they've done. And all the guys work real hard this weekend. And uh, we come out here with a car that we never really ran before and uh, you know, a lot of help from Joe Shear and all the guys. So, um, you know, uh, it's a short run, and all we can do is see what he's got because uh, we got the best man behind the wheel. And got to keep the fenders on it. The wreckers have been so active here tonight. Thank you. Thank you. 
They have been busy, Dick. They continue to clean up the issue in turns one and two. The reason for this problem, Again, coming out of turn four, Steve Wallace just behind that 32 of Dale Quarterly. Quarterly goes around. Ermish gets collected, as does Cabrera. And so those three cars wadded up in one and two. We'll be back for more action from Irwindale after this.